Excuse me, can I go to the bathroom? <gasps> what the fuck? The bathroom? I haven't seen anyone go to the bathroom in 15 years. Why would anyone go to the bathroom? This doesn't make any sense. Guys, my bones are getting squishy. I gotta be honest, dude. After this, you're grounded. <sighs> Dad! Yeah, I'm sorry, man. You're grounded as fuck. Oh, uh, oh my god, dude. Why can't we just have a nice moment? Like one where you don't ground me. A nice moment? What do... What are you talking about? You just lit the house on fire. We're standing next to our burning house because of you. Why can't we just be happy like we used to? Before all this. Before you lit the house on fire? Yes, exactly. Why can't we just have a nice moment? You know what, son? You're... You're right. Why can't we just have a nice moment? You know what? Fuck the house. We're gonna have a nice moment right now, no matter what. Sir, your daughter, she's still in the building. <sighs> nice moment. They're so selfish, dude. They're so shellfish. Sorry. I actually had a pretty strange dream with Danny in it. So in the dream, I was hanging out with my friends in a big parking lot at night. We saw a construction shed and decided to go in it and it wasn't big enough for all of us. So they locked me outside. At that moment, I happened to notice a figure off in the distance. Then it proceeds to speed towards me. As he stepped into the light, I knew who it was, Danny. I started to jiggle the door to the shed and bang. I looked back, the bastard was smiling and was very close now. And he said, you can see me in a creepy falsetto. You can. You, you can, you can see me? <clears throat> Why can't I do a falsetto right now? You can see me? Then I woke up, and for the past three months, I still ain't been sleeping right. Vine shut down his service in 2016. I didn't know Vine was a boy, but... Hmm, I always thought it was a girl. Hi, I'm Danny Gonzalez, but you can just call me Danny for short. I really like the two pictures they used for me here. You sort of get a sense of my range of characters that I do. You know, you've got this one character who looks like concerned and pensive, and this other character who looks like upset and thoughtful. It is generally believed that one of the reasons that the YouTuber has so many female fans on his side is because of his good looks. Of a truth, Danny Gonzalez is amazing and hunky. He is blessed with distinctive features that make it impossible for any any lady not to love him. But then it goes into even more detail. I would say a frightening amount of detail. His body measurements are chest 40 inches, waist 31 inches, arms 14 inches, and his shoe size is 10. Like, why the fuck would you ever need to know that? Is this site for people who are trying to build like a life-size replica of me? He launched his pony-themed YouTube channel. Danny likes to dress up as grapes and go to grape cosplaying events. You ever heard of Fruit Con? Everybody dresses up as their favorite fruit. They have panels where you can listen to grapefruits talk about what it's like in the industry. That picture is real and my wife is alive. And this is the Danniest pic of Danny there is. Yeah, I, I think I'd agree with that. I'd say everything is pretty Danny right here. You see him, Marcel walk into class like you saw and shit down. He look at you and smile. Hello, Danny, how is you? You bloosh and answer, good. He chackle, that is good. He wink at you and you walk away. Were you pointing a gun at me? I am gripping that microphone like it's the only thing keeping me from flying off into space. Love that caption too. He saw me! It kind of sounds like frightened. Oh shit, he saw me, he's gonna get me. Meanwhile, I'm like, don't let nobody ever look at me. So I disappeared for a month and then posted this. Please find me, <laughs> follow the cat. That's such an ominous <laughs> thing to post after being missing for a month. Uh, <laughs> oh Jesus. Yeah, I sure hope you do. I carved your face into it. Carved your face into it, a way to put it. Yeah, that is, that is. Terrifying. Jarvis had posted in World War II that Curtis and I had just given birth to him. And Nancy and 1,300 others are digging it. Big news today is President Barack Obama named silly internet boy Danny Gonzalez the biggest failure of 2016. What? Adding that, quote, he is so cringy it makes me sick. Okay, all right. He doesn't even know how to tie his own shit. Okay, that's enough. Okay. Imagine like a baby being born in the hospital and having some unique feature about them that makes them look different than everyone else. And like the doctor's like, Ugh! What the fuck is up with this baby, dude? This thing is a fucking freak of nature. And then like one of the nurses comes in and starts snapping. The parents start dancing. Even they're in on it and they start singing. What the fuck is up with this kid? And the whole hospital comes in to look at the ugly little baby and they all have like a dance number that they're doing. And the baby's just sitting there like, I don't even know how to talk yet, but I still think I'm getting the sense that everyone doesn't like me. What's up, Greg? Welcome, Welcome back, back to my channel. channel. This, this of course is another episode of Mr. 305. Give me everything tonight. You're right. Give me 
everything tonight. Give me everything tonight. Give me everything tonight. Give me everything tonight. Is that a rob a robbery? Hey, give me all your shit tonight. Give me everything tonight. As if a mugger would have to specify the time of day. Like, give me all your shit tonight. Right now, preferably. Can it wait till tomorrow? No, we might not get tomorrow. Yeah, he's he is a robber. Say no more. Get, Get on the floor. floor. <laughs> yeah. Meet me at the hotel room. Meet, Meet me, me at, at the hotel room. room. Meet me at the hotel room. Meet me at the hotel room. The woman down <laughs> here. Yeah. yeah. Shh. Hey, be quiet. Shut, there's, there's a woman, a woman down, down here, <laughs> and I'm not done with her yet. <laughs> She's tied up. I flash him a quick smile and wave. I didn't think much of it until I noticed how angry Danny looked. He then started sprinting at me and screamed, "Get back to work!" He grabbed my shoulders and threw me up into the air onto the stage. He picked me up and started kicking me around like a soccer ball. Curtis and Drew screamed, "Oh no, Danny, not again!" Luckily, some considerate Gregs climbed onto the stage and carried me off. So. Oh, um, fuck all of you guys. Go fucking kill yourselves. I'm literally not even joking. Guys, I don't know what's going on with Danny. He won't answer anybody. So investigators are, oh my god, there he is. And I'm running down the street. And Danny came out on stage and called everyone who didn't get up to use the restroom a very naughty turnip. Gooby, 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 gooby. Gooby. Get up, 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 gooby. Get up. Number nine, it's what Danny would want. Danny Gonzalez is a rat lover. Okay, rat lover sounds like a little bit romantic. I would maybe rephrase that. He would want you to buy me rats. Danny would be very disappointed if you decided not to buy me rats. I think you should buy me rats. And I, Danny Gonzalez, think it is a good idea for you to buy your son Connor a pet rat. He actually said this. Now, at the time you wrote this, that wasn't true. But as of right now, it is true. I did just say that. Do you realize what time it is? Eight o'clock. All right, see you, mom. I'm going out to school. He's one of the most popular boys in school. I'm just so stressed out. I gotta blow off some steam right here, right here in the school hallway. This is so unfair. I walk into the bathroom. Shower time. Emma Watson. Emma Watson's watch, son. Emma watching, watching some SWAT and watching some watches. <laughs> Danny, eat a Snickers. You're not the same when you're hungry. Shut up! Ah! Oh, hey, Liam. I don't know who you are. It's Danny. I don't know what you want. I just want to hang out. I will find you. Oh, okay. I'm just at my house. You can come over whenever. And I will kill you. Why? You gotta stop stabbing people right when you meet them. You come off too strong and it weirds them out. Hang out a few times, get to know them a little better, and then stab them in their gosh dang face. This message will now self-destruct. <laughs> Room for two more. Sorry, boys! Hey, mailman, what do you got? Just this letter! Ah. Ah. Jonathan, I don't love you anymore. Hey, Danny, what are you doing? Just killing some time. Uh, my name's not time, it's Tim! <gasps> ah. Today must be my lucky day. All I yes. do is win, 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 no matter what! <laughs> follow that car! Is he gonna follow me back? Uh, no, I don't think so. Then no! I will find you, and I will kill you. Looks like this seat's taken. <laughs> Pillow fight! Kill it! Kill it! Come on, do it! There was this kid I didn't like in my theater class. I was always trying to knock him off the stage. Precisely! 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 No! 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 I don't think I've ever heard it. No! It doesn't sound familiar. No. So. Expletive. Expletive. Curse word. Expletive. Danny Gonzalez is so cool. I wish he was real. I do too, man. I wish I was a real boy. But unfortunately, I am a puppet made out of wood. I'm balls. Um, balls? Uh, come and balls? Hey, silly, get in! He said, and and Hen gulped and pulled his <laughs> luggage into the house. Is Hen another character? Yeah. There's like a Hen in the corner, just one quick <laughs> shot. Oop. So Hen gulped and pulled your luggage into my house. Mm. Oh, Hen is like the butler of the house. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, so this is based on reality. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot you have a, a, a Hen a butler. butler. Yeah. 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 Was Drew totally straight? They turned on a movie and watched some mm. funny TV shows. We turned on a movie, ignore it, then watch some <laughs> funny TV shows. Hello? He asked as he opened the door. Then there were two guys in black ski masks and they grabbed Drew and threw him down the apartment stairs and they ran off. They kidnapped him! Fuck! He gasped. <gasps> there was a knock at the door. 
Danny went over to it and gasped. <gasps> Logan Paul! Meanwhile, somewhere in coastal Rica... Let me go! I never got to tell Danny I love him! Well, in that case... Then he was shoved into a van and they started driving. What? <laughs> Are they gonna take me back yeah. so I can tell you I love you? They kidnapped you and took you to a different country. <laughs> punched you once, and you said, But wait, I wanna go back and tell him I love him. Okay. Okay. Bye. I'm so sorry. The Team 10 will help you find him. But he was a loser? Go, Logan, go, go. away. <laughs> go, Logan, go away. Go, go Logan, go, go away. Danny! <laughs> Drew, you're a horse. <laughs> Logan Pale? He roared. You roar, you have to roar it. Logan Pale? <laughs> Logan Pale! I'm sorry. <laughs> Drew started crying and ran down the stairs. Hi, Greg. Today I finally told Drew I love him like I said I would. Did I tell my YouTube audience <laughs> that I was gonna tell Drew I love him? I guess so. <laughs> hey, uh, I know there's like 1.8 million of you, but please nobody tell Weird Drew. flex, but okay. I'm gonna tell <laughs> Drew I love him in my next video. Please no one spoil the surprise. What did you say? But before that, someone else came over and I kissed them. I love you, Drew, and it will never happen again. You are my light and joy, and I would be proud to be be your husband. Today, I finally told Drew it will never happen again. Never kiss him again. I am with someone else. And then there was a sniffled sound, and someone was behind the camera? Danny started to cry silently, but tried to look together. I think someone- Someone edited it. Yeah, yeah out of order. To make it look <laughs> and, like I'm and, saying and... something totally natural. Today, <laughs> I finally told Drew it will never happen again. Never kiss him again. I am with someone else. And I'm just like, <gasps> This is so natural. This is how he talks yeah. in real life. He uploaded a three second long YouTube video. <laughs> First, I look at you, then I look black at the video. <laughs> how, how could he? Denny. <laughs> Denny stromed around the house. Jackie tried to call him down. Denny! Denny! But Danny opened the window and jumped! Jackie screamed and called. <laughs> Zero one one. Your call cannot be completed as dialed. Hello! My friend has just jumped off the bell. I, 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 I! What? No, he didn't. I'm sending you the video he made for you. <laughs> you liar! He screamed. Then he threw his phone at Jake <laughs> and ran out. He busted out of the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> they waited in the office of the doctor office. The doctor so important that his office has, <laughs> has his own a, office. Another office. He got a knock at the door and someone popped in. It was Ethan and Ela Klein. <laughs> the door didn't open. The popping is like them teleporting into the room. H3! H3. I'm so excited for you, said, said Hula. Hula. It was Logan! Logan Paul? Did I also have sex with Logan? <laughs> somewhere else. I wish I was somewhere else! Danny looked out the window and gasped. Of course. <laughs> of course, you're gasping. <gasps> I'm useless. That's that, like that's my response anytime anything surprising happens. <laughs> Just crippling <gasps> shock. No way. Who's saying no way? Or is the author saying no way? <laughs> the author is so surprised by what she's about to write. Everyone was wearing dressed up and no way! <laughs> they went outside. She's like amazed at her own ideas. Yeah. I now pronouns, pronouns you man and husband. 